Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. So really big events have happened yesterday in the evening. You probably heard about the starting of the military operation in Yemen by the United Kingdom United States coalition. So that could change the shape of the markets in the nearest time. Uh, you already actually could see it. It's just demand for gold and for treasuries have increased. So at least this was just the first strike on Yemen territory. That's already you could see sharp reversal in the gold that has happened by the end of the session. Although reaction on inflation was proper. Gold indeed has dropped from the predefined level. So everything was according to the, our trading plan, but later uh, mostly in the night already. Uh, you can see that the attack has started. The same we see on a dollar dollar in general stands flat without any response, but the fact that the gold has raised and if you take a look at the interest rates, you could see that uh, this is dollar and the dollar market keeps the same shape. While on the United States Treasuries, you could see market has formed minor reversal bar here dropping out of the pin and consolidation. This is total result of the uh, starting of the confrontation, additional confrontation in the Middle East because inflation was supported for the high interest rates. So and actually you could see that in the beginning of the session market was above this area while later it just turned down. So I think that this is a big mistake it's just because uh, it, it, it was possible just to press a bit on Israel to uh, stop its bombing of the just civilian objects in the Gaza. So and it might be enough. So maybe no significant attacks of the whole this could happen in the Red Sea. Uh, it's much could be much cheaper and easier to achieve. Right now Israel anyway stands in the international court process in Hague. So, uh, and uh, the starting of the operation, military operation could lead to the really very bad consequences in the midterm. Just because we should understand that behind the whole thing stand Iran, and um, actually they are not stupid. They understand what they're doing and they know they know in advance how United Kingdom and United States will respond. And actually, there's no surprises. So this is the same strategy as it was in all markets in the uh, sorry in, in all previous conflicts in the Middle East. They come in with the air carrier and start bombing the objects on the territory. And I think that uh, definitely this was some preparation for this attack. And I think that this might be really for extended conflict. And if the uh, United States will get some really uh, significant hurt in this confrontation, that could make negative impact on the markets, particularly speaking on the stock. And uh, well, definitely it will touch to increase the demand for the United States dollar and for the bonds, but also it should support the gold market. But for the stocks at home, it might be a really bad sign. And in general, the United States appearing in a very bad position. It's just because they are uh, losing the advantage in uh, in confrontation with the China for the Middle East. Sorry, for the for the for the Asian markets, they're losing time. They're losing reserves in the secondary conflicts. Uh, they can't uh, bring an order inside the country. It's a total mess with this uh, political struggle right now stands. Now, with this new conflict started, Ukraine conflict, and Ukraine stands on the hazard of the defeat, which is, will be also very bad for the image of the United States in the world. And uh, all this stuff really not very good sign, especially in the election year. So... I'm really have a negative look on the possible impact on this starting of this conflict on the markets. So I'll turn back to the technical picture uh, here, as I said, is demand for yields and together with rising gold, it means that this is purely geopolitical factor. On a euro currency, on a daily chart, we do not see something really special, but market stands in a kind of the flag consolidation. This type of the consolidation really, uh, really uh, very, very rare happens in 
points of the reversal. Sometimes it could be, but more often this is continuation pattern. It means that after this drop, it might be the second leg of the downward action here. Divergence once again stands in place. So we will see with this pattern here, it mostly stands as a response to the strong confidence support, not as a starting the purchasing of the euro currency here. Besides, we have nominal bearish trend here, so we do not have any reason to take the long position on the daily chart. Those who trade on the daily right now should search for resistance levels on the intra day charts and take positions uh, against this level fading bullish trend on the, on the intra day charts and taking the shorts with the, down, the potential downward continuation. This is a simple logic according to the Joe Napoli approach for trading of the trend direction. On the following time from chart, we do not see something really special. You could see this was a reaction on the inflation. In general, overall price action here stands very choppy, which is not typical, as I said, for the bullish reversal type of action. So market just stands flat. Both significant levels stands intact. So market has no power to break this level and just break the, this passion, which is actually seems good for the bears. So bears could try and take the positions around these same levels. Well, stop probably might be placed above the 618 level, just because if market will break the 618, it probably will happen in some fast acceleration. And in this case, this put on the question, this head and shoulders passion, but this probably should happen on the background, some significant events. So currently with the information that we have right now, hardly it will be possible. So that's why we think that overall context remain bearish. On the hourly chart, we also do not see something really special. I would just say that take a look, this is probably already third attempt of the market to form kind of the shoulder or something that's on here. If we suggest that this is shoulder, this is head, this should be another shoulder failure to the move above it. This actually was reaction. On the inflation statistics, now market is trying to return it back up. And once again, here's the problem with this to move about it. So from that standpoint, we still treat this area around the previous top and 50% resistance on the fall time from chart is 10 or 7, 10 or 8 area suitable for possible reestablishing of the same short positions that we, we have taken previously. If you still have position here, you just could hold it. And mostly we intend to keep the same tactics, keep some part of the trading line around this area. If somehow, by some reasons, currently it is not quite clear what reasons might be, but if something will happen and market will still show action back to the 1030 and completes this OP target, we consider another entry around 618 level 1040. So that's in general the strategy that we have. Um, so until 1040 stands in place, market keeps well at the bearish context. So let's see what will happen next.